It was a great weekend for the Lumberjacks and, uh, you know, had some beautiful football weather and a lot of great fans showed up and uh, student section. Purple Haze was unbelievable. It was, a, it was one of the better atmospheres we've had here. Uh, so, first of all, big shout out to, to those guys because they, they were uh, loud and proud over there banging those axe handles and, and helped make a difference in this ball game. But uh, pleased with the outcome, 38 to, to 10. It's uh, hard to win a football game this day and age in college football. So, uh, you you – it's a, it's a good feeling to, to walk across the field uh, victorious. Uh, we had to work for it. Uh, credit that to uh, a really good Alcorn State team, Coach McNair. They, they've done a great job uh, with, that, with that program. They're going to win a bunch of ball games uh, this year. They had some really good players and, and gave us all we wanted there for about three quarters. Uh, we were able to, to finally pull some things, pull away a little bit there in the fourth quarter. But it was uh, tough sledding uh, for a while. Thought our defense played really good. Uh, Minus a couple of explosives and one one tough drive, I, I thought they played really well. Tackled a lot better than they had the week uh, prior. Offensively, it took us a little while to to get things you know going in terms of into the end zone and and putting some points on the board. They were productive, uh, very efficient on third down, and uh, you know but we did have some costly turnovers that that uh, you know bit us in the butt a little bit. But uh, for the most part, you know, turned out 220 plus yards rushing. Jarrell Wembley had a really nice night, career high, and, and three touchdowns. Nearly had a fourth one there on the punt block. Special teams were, were really good. Had some, uh, you know, big plays there. Uh, a couple scores on on the punt return unit and kickoff coverage, which was a problem for us uh, week one. Uh, that got a whole lot better. So uh, that was as coaches. It's good to see. You know some improvements and and uh, fixing some of the, some of the issues that we had with with our week one game against Troy. So that was good to see that. But uh, there's still plenty to work on. Uh, we're we've got a long ways to go to be the team we want to be. But our guys are hungry and and uh, feeling a little bit better uh, after that one. It was good to enjoy that one on Sunday and and now uh, you know turn the page uh, to to week three. But uh, all in all, great win. Appreciate everybody coming out and all their support. Turn it over to our local media and then. Yeah, first of all, Coach uh, Northwestern this week. Where do they, where do they do best? Well, they're they're they've played two FBS games so far. Have been in both of them. Uh, end up, you know, they're sitting at zero and two. But but you know, a couple plays here and there, and, and that could be totally different. I think Coach Laird's done a really good job, and his staff uh, putting together a uh, a quality team. Uh, they've they've got some really good. Uh, transfers they've brought in that have made an impact, and, and they're, I think, are a better team now than they were last year. Last year they, you know, they played for the Southland Conference title. They won their first uh, four or five conference games there, and had a, had a really uh, strong year, kind of a rebuild year. But uh, played played for something there at the end. That's what you always look look to do each each year. But uh, this is going to be a very tough game in a in a very tough environment. And uh, they they they've got a good ball club, so uh, it'll be a, it'll be a war over there. Rivalry games always are. Yeah, that was my next question. What does it mean to bring this rivalry back? Yeah, it's great. It's great for uh, both universities and, and, you know, the student athletes and alums and fans and everybody involved in this uh, region, Nacogdoches, Nacogdoches. I mean, it's uh, it's longstanding. Uh, rivalry goes back a whole lot of years. Unfortunately, we've been on the short end of the stick uh, on on majority of them, but uh, we, we were able to get the win there. In, in 2019 over at their place. And so uh, I imagine this one will come down the wire. Rivalry games always do. And, and so our guys are excited to play in it. Know it means a lot to, uh, to this university and to our alums. And, and so uh, we'll, we'll get prepared this week and hopefully have a great game Saturday. Specifically, what would you like to see uh, improve this week as you uh, get into Saturday's matchup? Yeah, I think we need to uh, – we've got to take care of the ball better, you know, to, to be down – you know, negative three in the turnover uh, battle. That you don't win many games that way. We were fortunate to do that Saturday. We've got to create more turnovers on defense. Punch the ball out. Uh, make some makes turn some PBUs into some interceptions, and then uh, you know offensively we got to take care of the ball better, put the ball in better better spots. Uh, some of those are on the quarterback, some of those are on the receivers, and uh, you know just not not running the route the correct route or or finishing a catch. So uh, we've just got to do a better job taking care of the football and uh, and winning that turnover battle. I think is is. One area of improvement, I think we can always tackle better. I thought we made a big step in that in that direction uh, Saturday, but would like to uh, continue to see our, our tackling improve and then just overall special teams continue to get better. Part of that rushing total that you talked about for the Lumberjacks on Saturday came from your quarterback, Brian Maurer. Had the one big run, I think 64 yards or something on the 
on the keeper there. Is, is that something that you guys, like, do you guys look to get him involved in that running game? Or are you trying to get him involved in that a little bit more? Or is it just to kind of feel it out as the game goes? No, it, it a lot of that depends on who you're playing and, and what they give you defensively. You know, a lot of people are like, well, why didn't you throw the ball down the field against Troy? Well, part of that was the coverage they're playing. So you throw underneath the coverage. And you, you take what defenses give you. Uh, he, he is a, a very talented athlete and has some, some wheels on him. And so uh, if there's a way to get him involved in the run game week to week, we'll certainly try to do that because he is a threat. And, you know, I'm an old defensive guy, and it is hard enough to defend 10 of them. And if you've got an 11th one back there, the quarterback that can run, that that just adds a whole other element to things you've got to defend. And and so I think he does bring that threat and is a, is a great you know tool for our offense. And then when you guys – you talked about things that you guys need to clean up this week going into this game. When you look at film <clears throat> in a game that you win by four touchdowns, it, over the course of your career, do you find it hard to get guys to really focus in on making those improvements after they win a game by 28 points? Or? Uh, not really, because if my memory serves me correctly, we were rolling in the fourth quarter is 17 to 10. And uh, and we got to that 17 about as odd as you can with two safeties, two field goals, and a touchdown. So, uh, you know, that 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 was a tight ball game, and there was a lot to learn from there and, and mistakes made. And, and opportunities that were missed. And so I think uh, the, the focus this morning was really uh, intent, w- intentional with our players and, and our coaches alike. There was a lot to, uh, to learn from that and uh, everything else. So it was, a, it was a good win for us. It was a tough, hard-fought win, but there was a lot to, lot to learn from. And I think everybody, uh, had, you know, we had to work for that one Saturday. Coach, over here. So I know you've gone through a lot of defensive coordinators over the past couple of years. Can you tell us about Coach Mutz and the impact he's had on the defense this season? Coach Moots. Moots? Yes, I can. And so uh, we forgive you for your uh, poor pronunciation there. But, no, uh, what was the question, though? I, you lost me at uh, Mutz. I was looking to see what has Coach Moots <laughs> Yes. His impact on the defense in this new season. Yeah, I think uh, he, he's been awesome. We've had him uh, through this spring. We're still, you know, very young into his tenure. And so, you know, the playbook's not completely opened up. Uh, we, we've kind of dialed down, you know, what we're doing. And, and so it's a it's a limited, um, you know, you know, playbook that we're pulling from right now just so we don't overdo it. And uh, you want to get good at a few things and then add – Add to that, and so I think as as uh, the season rolls on, you'll see that that playbook expand, and and uh, from you know some different blitzes and coverages and setups and 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 uh, fronts that we run. But so far, the buy-in's been terrific. You know, it's it's been a uh, you know it's not been seamless, but it's been a very positive uh, transition. And and uh, with our, you know we had to replace a lot of defensive assistants as well. And so each year, you know, that's college football nowadays. You're you're rebuilding almost some of these. Guys are rebuilding the whole roster, and uh, I, I don't know how they do it, but uh, kudos to them. But it's it's hard enough, you know. We've replaced a lot of coaches through here. When you're successful, you know that's going to happen. And we're, I think, 21 and five now over the last three years uh, against non-FBS opponents, and people notice that, and so they come and and you know our coaches have had a lot of opportunities to move on and and uh, further their careers, and so I, I'm, that will continue. And I'm excited for them and their families, and we'll we'll continue to get to know the new ones and and. Uh, and rebuild and reload and, and uh, learn new defense, new offense, you know, new schematics, and, and uh, have, a, have a new team each year. Is that it? Well, thank you for your time. Demons versus Jacks, Saturday, 6 o'clock. Make your way over to Louisiana. We'll see you there, Coach. Axum.